let's do a recap of today's session. So we run this software live here this morning for you this morning. And let's go over exactly what setups this scalper looks for. So this is a scalper. This is a SIM scalper we're releasing to all members. SIM scalper. The unique thing about the SIM scalper is I took all the programs we had in the past with my three setups and I put it into one system called the SIM scalper. Now we just went over in the last video. If you want to look inside the settings, this video is a recap. This video is not to show you the settings. The settings is on the last video. So play the last video. This is a SIM scalper recap of today's session. So if you look at what we have going on, these are the live trades that's been taking this morning that I've been letting it run live in front of you guys all morning. So the trades that you guys seen this morning that was in the room, uh, right here, it started at this one. You saw this one live at 8.30 with news. Saw this one, 8.30. You saw this one, you saw these two run through news. You saw this short at 80, 64.50 down to 61, I mean down to 59.5. You saw this long 61 up to 68.5. You saw this live short at 64.5 and saw this live short at 57 a quarter that's still running. So these are all the ones that I've been showing live in the room to all you traders in the room this morning. All right, we've seen all this trade live. Why do they come up and what is the SIM scalper? The SIM scalper, what it does, it takes all of my three setups that we have learned how to trade, members have learned how to trade over the course of the last six to eight months, almost a year. Uh, we've been doing the, these, uh, the combination of these three the past year, and it's a combination of these three setups. It's called a zone break, a slingshot, and a failure. This new software, which you can play the last video, I'll show you the insides of it. What it does, it finds these levels or these setups and spits them out with an automated system. So let's go with the zone break first of all. That's what's short right now. It's zone break. We're in a short mode from 57 and a quarter. It's got as low as 46. What is a zone break, first of all, my first major setup? This is a big one. What a zone break does on the recap, it looks at previous order flow or previous swings where rolling position traders are going to get caught. So if I look at this swing and I project it going forward, that's where the zone break happened. That's where the automated system got long this morning at 49 a quarter. Why? Because it was programmed to know that if I break through this swing with hard trend, with my trend filter built in, then I'm going to catch the wrongly positioned counter trend traders and it should drive this market higher. This is what's calling buy high here, buy high, sell higher, sell higher, sell higher. We're not buying low selling high on a zone break. We're buying high, catching the rolling position traders because if they're short at this swing high, which they that's the order flow, then all these buy stops have to cover or they'll have unlimited loss if you're short. You do not want to have unlimited loss, so these algorithms will cover. It's like a self-generating trade, and this market takes off this morning. That's when the automated system came up and bought this morning. The second, so that's a zone break. The short that we just went over a second ago that came out live was here, another zone break. This one, look what happened. We broke the low. That's why these come up. You broke the swing low. The automated system got short, or you can manually get short if you want to, if you want to let the automated system get short and have your own filters. I got traders that did that too. You can let this automated system run and have your own trade filters and do that also, right? Say, hey, okay, well, the auto is saying short. Let me see if my filters match up. I don't mind you doing that. It means we educate where these entries should happen. 
But you can see it caught the rolling position traders. It got short at 57 a quarter. The market's moved as low as 46. 10 S&P points on this last move. 10 S&P points. Now I had the auto in at break even plus one after the first target. But you can see my point is why the zone break came up. The zone break came up because it's catching the rolling position traders. Now what it's trying to do, you're shorting low and covering lower and it's moved already down 10 points. So that's what a zone break does. Buys high on breakouts to cover higher, shorts low on breakdowns to cover lower. The second trade setup we have in the room that this sim scalper will pick up is called outer edges. This scalper is known to calling these swings. It's called the swing high now after midnight, the swing high even after news. Outer edge slingshot right here. What an outer edge slingshot does is this. I have my zones that were back tested with an AI program, artificial intelligence program. We had the benefit of having one of our, our members that used to be with us. Uh, she moved to another trading program. I mean a trading, um, a, a trading platform. She moved to another trading platform, or she actually used another trading platform. So you can't, she can't utilize our Ninja Trader. But she was kind enough to do a 30-year back test for us, and we know our zones have been 30-year back tested. So when we get outside these outer zones, we know we have the, we have the top outer zones that the market should reverse. So this is called an outer edge slingshot, and the, sling, the sim scalper picked it up. This is actually the session low since midnight so far. Here's midnight. Picked it up at 36 and a half. So that's an outer edge slingshot. An outer edge slingshot is trying to get outside the zone where the market's getting crushed. And imagine taking your left hand here, holding on a rubber band, stretch it all the way down, let go of it, and it pops up. Here's slingshot, rubber band, all the way up, pop down, all the way up, pop down. Slingshot up here all the way up. Actually, this is a failure trade. Here's a slingshot down here sent to you right now. I just got the first target off when I've been doing this video. That's a slingshot trade. So what the slingshot trade is like to do is it likes to get stretched. Slingshot short, slingshot short. Slingshot long. Slingshot long. It likes to see when the market gets stretched into my outer zone that's been back tested over 30 years and it likes to fire back up. The third setup we have is a failure trade on the SIM scalper. That is where the market has run hard. It comes to a point where my oscillator is below 65 and 20, my long and short term oscillators and I get a failure trade that fires off and my SIM scalper picked up that trade. You guys saw this live trade in here today. That's a failure trade right there. That's a failure trade. That's a failure trade. So we had two big failure trades here this morning. A failure trade is when my oscillators become really weak and it reverses price action. You guys saw this live trade. It started at 64 and a half. We got as low as 47. That's what I mean. You can use the software. If you don't want automated trading, guys, you can use the software to, to let it now pick out these three setups automatically for you where you don't have to say, well, this is an outer edge now or this is a slingshot. It does it for you automatically. Then if you want to use other filters, to manually get in with chart trader or whatever trading platform you use it doesn't matter what trading platform you use you can use this you can use ninja as your trading platform for entry or you can use uh, at you can get ninja and put our software on it and use your own trading platform if you want to so you see the difference zone break is you're getting new highs 
or new lows, and it gets long or short. Outer edges, you get stretched, and you get a rebound. Stretched, rebound, stretch, rebound. Failures are when my oscillators are too weak after a big run. The market is exhausted, and it tends to roll over. My oscillators are pre-programmed. Everything's pre-programmed in already. There's a failure, and that big failure there. Now I just went into another slingshot here. So look at all these trades today. This one was, let's go through them. This was a outer edge slingshot. This is a zone break to a new high. Slingshot, slingshot, failure, slingshot, failure, zone break, slingshot. Everything's pre-programmed into this guy called the Sim Scalper. If you look on the last video, I go into exactly into the settings on it. So this is just to recap what it's done. Now, let's take a look since midnight. I turned this on. Remember, we try to educate you guys. This is an educational room. These are obviously simulated entries in a live market. I've had this on since live last night at midnight. Past performance is not indicative of future results, but let me hit here and hit real time. Left real time. So in real time, that's what is done on this number of contracts, four contracts, with I'll show you the parameters. But past performance is not indicative of future results. Remember that. But it shows you the consistency of these three setups. Take one thing away from this right now. It's the consistency of it finding the zone breaks, finding the outer edge setups, and finding the failure trades, right? This is educational software that you can let run and say, hey, whatever market that I trade, it's going to find when it's setting a new high and catching the rolling position traders. It's going to find when the market gets exhausted with trend on an outer edge slingshot. And it's going to find when the market is weakening. That is power. That's power in the market because knowing that this market has evaporated, the, the strength has evaporated, this failure trade caught it. Whether you use the automated algorithm to fire in the trade with the sim scalper or use your own techniques like a lot of you use other different software to 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 uh that you're new to my software and say hey i like i like using my software i have already that's fine you can use this as your primary basis to find when it's breaking new highs or lows into a strong or weak market you can use this to find out when the market's getting snapped back hard and use this when it's weakening. You can use this as a bonus to your setup, even if you don't algorithmic trade, right? A lot of traders don't like to trade algorithms, meaning automated strategies. They like to put their own trades in. Well, fine. Just turn this on on SIM and let it find your setups. It caught that one, that one, that one, and you guys saw this all live today. This is not after the fact baloney. I run this live for you all this morning. Everybody's seen it. And now, right now, it's firing at what? What trades are firing right now, guys? See if you guys pay attention. What trades is firing right now? What trades is that right now that's firing? You can see the candle formation. You got it. Failure trade. Breakout would be the swing low of this. It's a failure trade. You see that's first target. You can't see the oscillator, so I, I don't I don't blame you, Aaron, but it, it, it's a failure. It's a weaker low. You, you don't have the oscillator below to confirm it. And that's the thing about it, too, is that the oscillators and everything's built into the system now, guys. Look, everything's built in. Everything's built in here. So what you can change is this. You can just change... If you want less setups, like this trade running live right now again, you want less setups, change your trail ticks down to what is in the room right now, all the way down to zero. Well, it depends on your style of, uh, depends on your strength. If you want to show all of them, you put to 99. If you want to put them down to zero, it's only going to show a select number like it does now. All right. But this just came in live right now. It just got short at 48 and a quarter. 
and as low as 42 and a half. You saw another live trade. All right, you guys see that? Another live trade just fired off right there. Now, now like I said, remember, we're running this through simulation for you. I want to run it always since midnight just to show you the consistency of the setup. Listen, we're in an educational room. We're trying to educate you guys and show you I put all three setups into one sim scalper, into one system that all you need to adjust is the strength in, of the setup by adjusting this number right here and your stops, your stops, what kind of stops you want, but I have the ATR trail built in already. And I have, that, that, and we're gonna go over conference call members on how, how, how you do this, but this is the simplicity of it. I got all the stochastics built in. I got all the trend filters built in. I don't even have this thing on a trend filter here. You can even have this on a trend filter if you want, what you're doing conference calls. I'm just taking every single zone break with the 99 out of 99, that's the highest setting you can get. You go all the way down to zero if you want with less settings. All the slingshots and all the failures today.